They're gathering the World Dragon's souls? What are they trying to do? They can't be. Do they want to resurrect the World Dragons? Use them against us? World Dragons, eh? Hmm. Well, they've awakened the Draco Machina from their slumber, and now... I wouldn't put it past them. Remember, they've already used normal Dragon Souls for those damn experiments of theirs. Whatever they're doing, we have to stop them somehow. Um, sorry to interrupt, but what are the World Dragons? I still don't really know. Your Radiance does not know of the World Dragons? I keep telling you, I'm not the Shining Dragon. I've never heard of the World Dragons before all this. Well, you were cooped up in Gale Ritz for a while. I guess it makes sense you'd be out of the loop. Well, don't worry. I can give you a little private lesson if you ask nicely. Ah, uh, thanks. Dragons are basically the most powerful dragons there are. They've been around since the world began. There's five of them. The Earth Dragon, the Sea Dragon, the Sky Dragon, the Dark Dragon, and the good old Shining Dragon. But at the end of Ragnarok, the World Dragons sacrificed themselves to seal Deus. Nothing was left of them but their souls. Yet thanks to the Armonics, the Shining Dragon lived on. Though his body was destroyed, his mind remained intact. There are seven Armonics in existence, all of which were created from the Shining Dragon's own body. Long before Ragnarok, the Shining Dragon created these Armonics and bestowed them upon the people as gifts. When the Shining Dragon lost his earthly form, the Dragoneers played their harmonics for him. With that power, he persisted. I had heard the legends of your survival, but to see you with my own eyes? Truly, I am not worthy of such honor. Point is, the World Dragons were the strongest of their kind, and that's probably what the Empire is figuring too. But the Empire has the Draco Machina, and they aren't World Dragons, right? Oh, definitely not. The Draco Machina are dragons that fought on the side of Deus during Ragnarok. They say Deus created them, but their power practically matches the World Dragons. They're kind of legends themselves. After Deus got sealed away, the Draco Machina basically went dormant. And now, Princess Excel has woken him up for herself. I think I get it. Legends say that Deus held power beyond any mortal and aimed to use that power to reforge the world anew. The world dragons rose to oppose Deus with the shining dragon in their number, and so began Ragnarok. Besides the shining dragon, there are four other world dragons. The Empire's got the earth dragon soul, so at least three. That's assuming the Empire hasn't snapped up any others by now. Right. 
but it's not like they could get all of them this fast. It'd be great to get all three, but we need at least one. Hey, Lady Kirika, I don't suppose you know where we'd find a world dragon soul lying around? I cannot be certain, but I believe I know where to begin the search. The High Elves who allied with the World Dragons would have honored their souls and kept them safe in shrines. Yet I fear they would be nothing but ruins after so many years undisturbed. As we have discovered no such sanctums in the Kingdom so far, there must be ruins yet undiscovered in this land, if we aim to find the World Dragon Souls, I expect we will find them there. It's not a lot to go on, but it's better than nothing. Let's head into town and see what information we can dig up. something other than the places everyone knows? Right. We're looking for any information on more out-of-the-way places. If you have any suggestions, we'd appreciate it. Well, I don't know about any actual ruins, but you know Ladlam Caverns? That's where we went to say Primula. Yeah, they say that it was formed when part of the plane suddenly caved in a long time ago. Nobody knows exactly what's down there. Maybe that's what you're looking for? Might be some ancient ruins stuck in the back of that old cave, huh? This seems as promising a lead as any. I believe we should investigate. But if you're gonna check it out, be careful. I've been hearing some strange rumors about it. I hear the place is haunted, chock full of ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? My goodness, Agnum, are you all right? You've gone so pale. Uh, nope. Uh, all good. Just, uh, just peachy. What kind of ghosts? Children. If you go deep enough into the caves, undead children will stalk you from the shadows. Just reaching out to you and screaming, Get out! Get out! Really, that's... great. 
I can't speak for the accuracy of ghost stories, but regardless, it seems we are bound for Ladlam Caverns. Right, let's go check it out. How's it going?
Welcome back! How are you? Over there? Yeah, I'm doing fine. How about you, Agnum? Oh, I'm always at the top of my game. Why do you look so down? Come on, we partners gotta get each other fired up. Do I look down? I feel pretty normal. Wait, when did we become partners? I mean, we're a little closer compared to when we first met, but... Don't overanalyze it! If we can tell what the other's thinking just by looking at them, that makes us partners. Just by looking? <laughs> That's quite an idea. What's so funny? Sorry. So, partners, huh? I kind of like the sound of that. It might be a bit early to say it now, but I think we'll get to that point eventually. Of course. We're going to be buddies before you know it. I can tell. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it, Agnum. You're getting there. You could use a little more hype, but don't worry. That's what I'm here for. Don't forget, Yuma. We're gonna push you all the way to the top. See ya. Agnum's always so energetic. Partners, huh? I hope we can really be that close someday.
once now. Is it gone? That's weird. We couldn't have missed... Missed who? <gasps> Careful, everyone. They're carrying a dragon soul. I can sense it. 
You shouldn't be here. Get out, now. Get out. Get out. Get out, or pay the price. All right, you little ghost. You want some of this? Wait! Yuma, what's wrong? I know her. I mean, I know them. <laughs> what? You, you saying this ghost is a friend of yours? She's not a ghost. I met her a few times back at Galritz. There were twins there, and she's the sister. Sister? No, I'm a boy. My name's Ed. Don't get us mixed up. Wait, you're the brother? Something wrong, Yuma? Uh, never mind. Sorry about that. So, you remember me, huh? Yeah. My sister Marion liked you for some reason. What? I think that's enough chit-chat for now, Et. Yoim! <laughs> My, it's been a while. You know this guy too? Yeah. He was at Gelrit's prison, too. He's the Magus that was experimenting on us. <laughs> oh, the time we had together in Gelrit's. Didn't you have fun? I never want to be part of your sick experiments again. Oh, really? A shame. It certainly was fun for me. Just remembering your screams gives me such a rush. You gave me quite a shock, you know. All that time and you managed to hide the Shining Dragon from my analytic sacrament. I've kept your cell nice and warm. Be a good little guinea pig and come back to me. I'll take care of you. Listen to me! I'm never going back! Is that so? Then I'm afraid you leave me no choice. Et? Uh. Et, are you listening? I'm giving you an order. Teach those ingrates a lesson. Fine. Et! Thank you. 
What's wrong? Is your eye... Don't touch me! Well, well, what have we here? Your left eye hurts, which means a defect in the magic oculum. Curious, curious indeed. I've never observed this kind of feedback before. I wonder what could be causing it. <coughs> Hello in there. Are you all right, Ed? Damn it! Damn it! I can't! <coughs> <laughs> ah, of course. I see now. It's the shining dragon. It's possible the dragon soul was exposed to the shining dragon for too long, and now there's some struggle for control. I suppose that's only natural since the eye was only implanted with a common dragon soul. Implanted? Ed, have you calmed down? <sighs> the pain's starting to go away. I think I'm okay now. Indeed. Good. Well, I see no ruins here. I doubt I'll find any of the world dragons either. A shame, but it seems I've wasted my time. And I can hardly capture the shining dragon like this. Perhaps it's time I called it a day. Time to go, Et. What was that about your eye? Shut up. Uh. Ed. He's gone. Guess the flash was just to let him escape. Et, why are you doing this? Yuma, were you friends with that boy? I knew him, but we weren't really that close. We just saw each other now and then. Apparently, I didn't even know them well enough to tell them apart. I guess I was wrong about what happened to Ed. What do you mean? Back when I was at Galrid's prison, I overheard the guards talking.
It sounded like they put Et through some insane experiment. And he didn't survive. Damn. But that was him, right? I guess. I must have misunderstood. Either that experiment never happened or... Or maybe it was actually Marion that died. I'm not sure. I see. I can no longer sense a dragon soul. Its aura faded with Et's departure. Whatever else this cavern may hold, it appears there are no world dragon souls here. Back to square one. So where are we supposed to look now? Hmm. Well, if we're searching for ruins, there could be some records left. Might be time for some research in the castle library. Ah, oh, good idea. I'll give you a hand with that. Wait, you? Hey, don't give me that look. I study ancient history sometimes, okay? It's not a big deal. Besides, I'm a seasoned traveler, a man of the world. I know the lay of the land here in Alfheim. Wow, I guess you wandering off on your own actually came in handy for once. Okay, let's do it. Well, now we've got that figured out, let's head back to Astoria. Rinna, Agnum, I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, we're on the case. Okay. Excuse me. My, my. Welcome back. Let's <laughs> go! 
Welcome back. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hey, take a look. 
How's that eye? Has the pain gone down? I'm fine. I can barely feel it anymore. Hmm. Well, that confirms it. The presence of the Shining Dragon was causing some kind of interference. The question is, how to proceed? If the Shining Dragon has the power to influence the magic oculum... Ultimately, that power may cause serious stress upon the eye, or even control it directly. Most concerning, the Shining Dragon's power is a potent force indeed. What's this about the Shining Dragon? Oh, if it isn't zest in the flesh. What brings you here? Skip the small talk. Tell me about the Shining Dragon. Oh, that. Ed and I were out searching for world dragon souls when we happened upon the Dragon Ears. Looks to me like they cut your little puppet's strings. In a word, yes. But one wonders what they were doing there in the first place. They may even be after the World Dragon Souls themselves. Really? So the Shining Dragon's around here, huh? I won't get my hopes up, but I guess I might as well go see what he looks like. Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing important. Hey, Joachim. If the Shining Dragon's wandering around here, your investigation will get pretty risky. I could come along if you want. You? Well, it certainly would be reassuring to have a guard of your caliber along. But it begs one question. What? I'm bored out of my mind is why. Better out in the world than stuck at the base. Yeah. This will be a lot more fun. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, in any case, welcome aboard. We'll leave as soon as I finish recalibrating Ed. Any idea where we're headed? Oh, I know exactly where we're going. And a world dragon soul awaits us, ripe for the picking.
Have Rena and Agnum returned yet? They've been gone for some time. They've been cooped up in the archives since we got back. Sounds like they're having a hard time finding anything. Makes sense. The Royal Library is stuffed with all kinds of old records, tomes. If that is the case, I imagine they will be a while longer. I shall retire to my room. Please excuse me. Leaving? Yes. I intend to prepare my supplies so that I may leave at a moment's notice. Fair enough. Maybe I'll go do some maintenance on my weapon. I can wait here then. I'll go get you when they come back. Really? Thanks. I should be going. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't mind waiting, but it's kind of boring. Huh? Is it just you here? Where'd everybody go? Huh? Oh, they went to their rooms to get their things ready. But I just made everyone some tea. Hmm. Huh. You want some? Sure, thanks. Ooh. What's up? That's a pretty music box. Is it yours? Huh? Oh, this? Yeah, it's mine. I was just bored, so I thought I'd take a look at it. What song does it play? Let me hear, let me hear. Oh, sorry. I actually don't have the key to wind it, so I can't play it. Huh? You're carrying around a music box you can't play? That's kind of weird. I don't remember the details, but there was a girl who rescued me when I was little. She gave this to me. Oh, it sounds pretty important to you, huh? I'm sorry I said it was weird. No, it's okay. It probably just looks like a plain old box to anyone else. To be honest, I can't even remember her face. But I've always hoped I'd see her again. So I can't just get rid of it, you know? Wow, I guess you better take good care of it then. Yeah. Really? Really and truly, they're waiting just outside, so please prepare to leave at once. I'll be right there. Oh, I should get Sonia and Karika. Now let us sally forth! Onward to the Jinkarna ruins! What do you need? Which one? Yeah, <laughs> 
today. Do you need something?